Tyler Perry told his male actors they're not allowed to consort with me because I saw you at a Diddy party, Tyler. Now the Sean Diddy Combs investigation, new surveillance video shows Combs being taken into custody in a Manhattan hotel last week. What he done? He might think it's better off to commit than to be in a situation like that, bro. Tyler Perry has long been known to be one of Diddy's close associates, and now he is rumored to have been seen in court after being found on tape in Diddy's freak-off sessions. Sources claim Diddy is also willing to bring Tyler Perry in for his whole host of crimes in order to get a better deal, and that is something Gene Deal too believed would happen. They want somebody else. He better hope, and he got something to offer them. Diddy and Tyler Perry go way back. In 2023, rumors were flying that Diddy, through Revolt, Tyler Perry, and Byron Allen, the guy behind Entertainment Studios, were all in the race to grab a majority stake in Biet. Then, in an interview with Billboard, and Diddy said he wanted to collaborate with these two powerhouse businessmen in some way. And honestly, teaming up with other titans is just Diddy's style. He has always hustled his way into the ultra-rich crowd while turning his edgy rap persona into a billion-dollar empire. According to some Wall Street heavyweights, Diddy didn't play it cool. Nope, he cold emailed them with business pitches. Yet they weren't mad at it. In fact, many admired him, with one New York Stock Exchange CEO even calling him an inspiration, comparing him to none other than the founding fathers. Diddy officially hit billionaire status in 2022, thanks to hip-hop wealth expert Zach O'Malley Greenberg. But Diddy had been chasing that title for years. In a 1999 interview with Forbes, he famously said, I wanted to be very, very rich. And boy, did he make that happen. Along the way, he filled his Rolodex with A-list connections, partnering with billionaire investor Ron Burkle and getting mentorship from hedge fund guru Ray Dalio. His fashion line made it into Macy's and Dillard's, and he did deals with big names like Diageo, Alcohol Giant, Zach Posen, Liz Claiborne, and even opened the New York Stock Exchange with Estee Lauder heir William Lauder. But he didn't stop there. Diddy co-owned his own TV channel, Revolt, launched a water brand with Mark Wahlberg, and teamed up with Salesforce's Mark Benioff to create a black business marketplace. Diddy's always been at the top, and one of those top-tier connections has always been Tyler Perry. At one point, there were a lot of rumors floating around about Tyler Perry being involved in human tea. And that is exactly when he decided to appear in a PSA about it. Suspicious timing, wouldn't you say? Human is a crime often hidden in plain sight. We like to think that it only happens in other places and it only affects other people, but sadly it's happening right here in our backyard. The Medea star later went on to say that many victims are being TED by people that they trust. It is clearly important to know the warning signs of ST and how to report suspicious activity it can save someone's life, Perry added. People have since put two and two together and worked out that A, Diddy and Tyler are businessmen at heart, and B, Diddy needed TED women, and Tyler seemingly provided them. But it's not just that, Tyler Perry has been spotted with Diddy on several occasions, such as events, award shows, and even parties. Yes, he has been to Diddy's parties, and you know what that means. Those people who was caught at Diddy party did not know that he had 250 tape recorders in that house. That's a big house. But he had 250 tape recorders. It's been reported that people like Tyler Perry are feeling concerned about P. Diddy's recent legal troubles, worrying it could open up a can of worms following his arrest. Diddy, who's been known to party with celebrities like Usher and Justin Bieber, now has some of his high-profile associates, actors and musicians, on edge. They're extremely worried their names could be mentioned if the case continues to unfold. Sources close to the Irish star said, Diddy partied with a whole host of famous faces over the years. They loved partying with him at his lavish soirees all over the world. Sometimes he would even have his face printed on fake dollar bills and make it rain all over the guests where models were handpicked to attend. Now, Hollywood circles he once mingled with are buzzing with talk that more names could come out as the case progresses. So now, with them finding all that and you being at a Diddy party, you know you may have done something that was caught on one of those tapes. Adding to the drama, Diddy's former bodyguard Gene Deal has made some explosive claims. He revealed that the rapper turned mogul allegedly kept tapes of politicians involved in his notorious freak-off sessions and suggested Diddy's arrest may be tied to a larger corruption scandal currently shaking New York City politics. 
Steele, who protected Diddy throughout the 1990s, told the Art of Dialogue podcast that the charges could implicate high-profile officials and celebrities in New York. This comes six months after federal agents raided Diddy's mansions in Los Angeles and Miami, reportedly finding over 1,000 bottles of baby oil and lubricant, which prosecutors allege were used during the freak-off parties. During these sessions, according to prosecutors, Diddy allegedly gave women drugs and coerced them into long S encounters with male P stitutes. There's speculation about tapes of these sessions, though prosecutors haven't confirmed if they were recorded. When asked if there were celebrities on these tapes, Deal simply responded, Diddy gave celebrity parties, so what do you think? Deal went on to say that while the raids focused on Diddy's properties, the arrests are part of something bigger than Diddy despite lawsuits, including one filed by Diddy's ex-girlfriend Cassie Ventura. Prosecutors in California didn't press charges. Instead, New York officials brought the case, which Deal thinks is tied to ongoing allegations of corruption among city officials. People aren't going to tie this together, he added. Throughout his career, Diddy dominated the worlds of music, television, and fashion building a fortune worth hundreds of millions. He made his mark as a savvy music producer, founding Bad Boy Records in 1993 and becoming a cultural powerhouse. He was also involved in one of rap's most notorious feuds, the East Coast vs. West Coast rivalry, which tragically resulted in the deaths of Tupac Shakur and Notorious Big. Diddy rode the wave of hip-hop's rise into mainstream culture and his track All About the Benjamins was even parodied by Weird Al Yankovic. He dated Jennifer Lopez, famously escorting her to the 2000 Grammy Awards where she wore that iconic Versace dress. On the surface, Diddy presented himself as both the fun-loving guy dancing in music videos and the hard-nosed businessman building an empire. In private, prosecutors allege in an indictment unsealed on Tuesday that Diddy and his associates wielded his power and prestige to carry out IS, emotional and physical A against people in his inner circle. While Diddy's explosive temper was an open secret and rumors about his S life have circulated for years, experts believe his influence has shielded him from accountability for long-standing alleged illegal activity. Diddy was arrested and charged with IST, racketeering, and transporting individuals for peace detution. This comes after months of lawsuits and multiple allegations of SA, gender violence, misconduct, and other serious illegal acts spanning several years. He pleaded not guilty on Tuesday, but the judge denied him bail after the U.S. attorney Damian Williams argued that Combs is a flight risk and poses a danger to the community. He is currently being held in New York's Metropolitan Detention Center. The food is terrible. Of course, the inmates are terrible. The guards are terrible. It's, the conditions are terrible. It's just terrible. The charges are tied to Diddy's notorious freak-offs, hours and days-long S performances that allegedly involved coerced S acts. Prosecutors claim these acts were orchestrated and sometimes recorded by Diddy. The indictment alleges that Diddy engaged in these activities to fulfill his S desires, protect his reputation, and conceal his conduct. The indictment also names a group of individuals referred to as the Combs Enterprise, including Diddy's security staff, household employees, personal assistants, and high-ranking supervisors. Together, they are accused of participating in a wide range of criminal activities under Diddy's direction, including forced labor, S-coercion, drug offenses, K-napping, arson, and bribery. Since late 2023, several lawsuits have been filed against Diddy by both women and men, alleging A and ST. This wave of lawsuits began after his former girlfriend, Cassie Ventura, filed a federal suit in November, accusing him of years of physical A during their 11-year relationship. Cassie claimed Diddy exerted complete control over her during that time. The two were romantically linked from 2007 until their split in 2018. I mean, I like a bad guy, but I feel like the challenge of a, a guy that's shy is actually interesting too. Although Cassie and Diddy settled the lawsuit just one day after it was filed, with the terms remaining confidential, the allegations marked a turning point. Combs denied the accusations, but they opened the floodgates for more legal action. Singer Don Richard, producer Rodney Lil Rod Jones, and several unnamed women, along with a Michigan man named Derek Lee Cardello Smith, have also sued Combs, accusing him of various forms of A and misconduct. A judge has since paused a $100 million judgment in favor of Cardello Smith to allow for more hearings. 
Before Ventura's lawsuit, Diddy's reputation had largely stayed intact, despite years of accusations, legal issues, and rumors that followed him throughout his career. His behavior, though often discussed on social media by fans, artists, rivals, and collaborators, never led to significant legal consequences. Until now, Oronike Odalai, activist and co-founder of the Hash Mute or Kelly campaign, pointed out that the delay in facing legal repercussions highlights the power of Diddy's celebrity and the carefully maintained image he projected for decades. Now we know he's on S-side watch, but one of Diddy's former party guests believes he could get in prison. Celebrity photographer Selma Fonseca, who attended the rapper's notorious gatherings, shared her concerns with the U.S. Sun following Diddy's recent arrest. She stated, Somebody could kill him. He has a lot of enemies. Fonseca first met Diddy in November 1998 at his birthday party. After taking a photo with him, she said she started seeing him everywhere and eventually scored an invite to his exclusive white parties, where guests dressed in monochromatic outfits at his East Hampton home. Selma described Diddy as very nice but not very open, adding, that's why he's wearing glasses all the time. She also recalled an incident where, after taking a picture of Diddy with a woman, his bodyguard took her camera. Diddy reportedly demanded to review the photos before returning it. Fonseca claims she was also invited to his home on Star Island, a secluded neighborhood off South Beach with strict security, where access is controlled by a security guard at the entrance. At his parties, there were always beautiful girls in bikinis, naked girls in the swimming pool. It was normal, she recounted. Fonseca also claimed that during one visit she was drugged, saying, I don't remember how I got home. I was so high. There was always something in the drinks. Authorities have said that Diddy's wealth and influence allowed him to avoid scrutiny for years, but some legal experts suggest that his recent indictment could change that. Matt Murphy, a former prosecutor with experience in S-crimes, pointed out that the racketeering charges could implicate many people involved in Diddy's operations. There are people who have witnessed things who are going to have their own criminal interests to worry about now, he explained. Murphy also mentioned that the pressure could build on associates to testify against Diddy, suggesting that insiders in his organization may face criminal liability and could turn into federal witnesses. Through the indictment, it's pretty clear who could be indicted as a co-conspirator. Right now, there are people in the indictment who would be considered unnamed conspirators. Court records show that prosecutors have gathered information from dozens of victims and witnesses, as well as communications with S workers, travel records, and recordings, including dozens of video recordings created by Diddy of freak offs with victims. Lori Levinson, a professor of criminal law at Loyola Law School and a former federal prosecutor, noted that while the indictment currently focuses on Diddy, it mentions numerous other participants. Then you ask the question are all those participants getting a deal from Pia Cuters? or will some of them be joining the defendant, she said. As a result of that, many people feel that he's going to turn in other celebrities. Who do you think is next on the hit list? That's all for the video, folks. Thanks for watching.